Yo guys, what is going on? Today we are in Downey, California and this McDonald's specifically is the oldest McDonald's in existence, right? McDonald's first opened in 1940. At that time it was owned by the McDonald brothers and then Ray Kroc came and he was the one that franchised it and took it to the phenomenon that it is today, right? But this store is the oldest remaining McDonald's store that was actually opened in 1953, which is crazy. Nearly 70 years, this store has been opened. By the way, if you haven't watched The Founder yet, you need to watch The Founder because in The Founder, they go to the counter, but the counter is outside and you place an order. And that's how it's still done here as well. The counter is outside. You go there, you place an order, and that's what we're gonna do now. And I'm gonna show you around. Let's do it. So guys, you might be wondering why, why McDonald's? Why did you have to make a video about this? I'm very passionate about McDonald's, right? Very, very passionate. And that's because I'm in the food business myself with munchies. And one thing that amazes me is how busy McDonald's is yet it's so systemized, so automated and so easy to run. It's always under control and it's because they have simplified their processes so much that it's very difficult to make a mistake. And also the fact that they've got consistent taste across the world, really. 38,000 stores they've got right now, 38,000, which is crazy. But this is the first one, so let's go. There's a very busy intersection there and you've got this massive arch. You know, literally when I was driving down from that road coming all the way down, you can see this for about half a mile. So this is the counter that's outside, which I'm talking about. So you'll place an order right there. And in the past, in another restaurant other than McDonald's, they'd serve it to you in cutlery, in knife and fork. McDonald's was the first one that gave it in disposable packaging. And then you've got this eating area. You've got a dining area there. You've got a dining area here as well. So these are all toys that were ever given in a Happy Meal. Okay, so they've got all this lingering about. You've got all this memorabilia. You've got some books, a nice retro bin. And yeah, the drive through. But look at this as well, yeah? You've got my man, I've never seen this guy before. Look at that font. <laughs> you don't see that font anymore at all. And I think we should place an order. What is this? I'm guessing it's a uh, olden days till, but inside it's as modern as any McDonald's that we know is. So we're going to place an order now. It'd be interesting to see if the packaging they use is still the old packaging from them days. Let's see. Guys, this is my receipt here. Yeah? Look at this. A fish fillet meal was $10. $10. Right now the pound and the dollar is pretty much the same, right? They're pretty much on par, meaning 10 pound is probably like $10, right? Well, there may be slight difference, but it's almost the same. 10 pound, okay, or 9 pound 90 for a fish fillet meal, which would probably cost around, I'd say about 5.50 back in the UK, 5.50, six pound. Interesting, US inflation, or shall I say California raise. California, everything's expensive, by the way, everything. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. So here we have it. The packaging is the same and inside it all looks the same. Yep, you got the fish fillet box. Everything looks legit. Beautiful. So this is our fillet or fish meal. It would have been cool if the packaging was also retro. Downy. Beautiful, great experience. And, oh, who do we have here? How you doing, buddy, you all right? Yeah. Are you good? Yeah. Are you homeless? Yeah. What, what made you homeless? Uh, um, if, I left my if, if you don't mind, just hold that. Okay. Just hold that, yeah, just like there. Okay. Yeah, how come, how come you're homeless? Uh, how come I'm homeless? Yeah. Uh, I left my, my, my home, you know, I stayed by myself. You know. Okay, I don't okay. want to bother my mom, you know. No. Is, is that because you couldn't find a job? Uh, no, it's just that uh, um, I had too many problems being I was incarcerated. Right. And then I came out and uh, 
she had, she had moved with her own family, you know. Like, right, with, right. She did her own thing, you know, and I don't want to bother her no more. And did know? you want to find a job, like, find oh, yeah. a place to work? Yeah, I, I went to a few jobs. I, I had a few jobs, but right now I'm, I'm currently homeless. You know? Okay. I'm just, you know, Are you still actively applying for work? Uh, no, not really. No? no. Okay. I've oh. been on labor ready. Okay. But that's it. Yeah? Yeah. Well, listen, all the best. You can have this McDonald's. Oh, thank that's you. on me. Okay. All right. You enjoy. What's your name? Uh, Nathaniel Michael. Michael, listen. You all the best, yeah. Okay. All the you. best, and I hope you find a job, and I hope okay. you get everything sorted. God bless you. All right. I appreciate you. See you later. Bye bye. Cheers. That, my friend, is priceless. Look at that smile. That's priceless.